Hello YouTube, welcome to another video of CS106A. This is assignment 7 and we're looking at Milestone 2. What we're going to do here is we're going to implement Face uh, Pamphlet Profile. It's a class with a lot of data in it. Um, what kind of data? It's got the um, profile's name, it's got the status of the person, it's got the list of persons um, on the friends list, okay? And it also has a G image if you want to store a picture, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the stubs of the face pamphlet profile. We're going to go ahead and add the uh, instance variables to make this whole thing work. And um, one thing that we're going to add today is something called an iterator. Uh, it's something that all array lists have and hash maps have. Today I'll show you how to use an iterator. And uh, let's get into it. So, um, and I've already built a test profile so we wouldn't have to waste too much time actually creating one this time. So the first thing that we would need is face pamphlet profile needs a uh, gets an input of a name okay so we want to be able to store that name and remember to store all these things make sure you have it on private we'll call it profile name and it's a string so don't forget to put the string at the very beginning <coughs> and we're going to store this uh, name into the profile name like this all right uh, you can also in this uh, class retrieve the name so if you want to retrieve the name, you just hit return, and then you just return the profile name, and it will return the name that's associated with the profile. Again, uh, this one also contains private g image image. Let's call it the profile image. And here, uh, to get the image, all we have to do is to return that profile image. And of course, if you're setting it, then you want to set your image to the profile image like this okay pretty simple the next thing you want to do is to set your get status get status is also a string so we're gonna go back to the top private string and we'll call it profile status okay <clears throat> down here uh, we want to return that profile status if it's being called and of course we want to be able to uh, set that status to profile status so profile status would be equal to our input of a status. Okay. The next thing uh, we need to do is to be able to add a friend. Now, when we add a friend, remember um, it's going to be a collection of uh, data. So, in terms of collection of data, to add a friend, we have two options. We can do a hash map. We can do an array list. Mm. Honestly, I feel more comfortable using an array list here, just because uh, the name. Well, no, actually, you know what? I take that back. Either or works, but uh, it's easier to code this in, into an array list. And so, what we need to do is create private array list, so it's not set, of strings, and with the string of the friends. So, we'll call that the friend array. And uh, <clears throat> we'll create, finish the rest of it array, new array list, string with the constructor or boom okay now <clears throat> going down here uh, to add the friend we simply just say okay friend array dot and then we're going to add the friend name okay to the array list uh, to remove it um, basically all you have to do is <clears throat> uh, let's see to remove it all you have to do is call that uh, array list again. So when we call the array list, um, we need to figure out if it contains the friend name first. So if it contains the friend name, then we can remove it. <coughs> but I went a little too fast on this previous one. That's what I was looking at before. And there's this thing where it needs to return true or false. So on top of doing everything else, it needs to return true or false. And also, I forgot to incorporate the fact that what if the name is already in the friend list? You don't want to duplicate it, so you want to find out first if that friend name happens to be on there. I know you can have two Jennies, I know you can have two Kai's, but you know here we're going to say that there's only one friend with that name. Okay, so it's going to look a little different. Uh, what we need to do is to use conditional statements to check to see if it contains that friend's name. So we're going to go friend array dot contains and we're going to check if that string of a friend <coughs> is found if it is found if it is true 
then all you need to do is return false, meaning that that name's already in our friends list. Okay. Else, if it's not, then what we're going to do is we're not only going to add that name, but we're also going to return true, saying that yes, we did add this name to the friend list. Okay. The next thing is the removal part. We're going to do the same thing with contains, except now we're going to be able to remove it. So if our friend array dot contains the string of the friend, then what we want to do is we want to remove it. So we want to say friend array dot remove, and we're going to remove friend <coughs> like that. And then we're going to make sure that we return true, saying that we did do that. Okay. If it's not, then we're simply just going to return false because it wasn't in there. Okay. Um, to get the friend, uh, notice how we call something called an iterator. An iterator is something that's part of the collection, and what it does is that it allows you to call each element of the database. So here, <coughs> uh, what we need to do is to create the, uh, uh, the iterator for our array list. So we go to friend array dot iterator create that guy okay and then after you create the iterator make sure you're returning it since we called it okay and that's it because this is supposed to return a iterator <coughs> iterator when you get friends uh, the last thing that's in this class is something called a two string of course a two string two strings purpose is to help you to see the elements of the class that you've created and to be able to put it together in a text so you can read it so if you want to do that um, basically we'll create something called string result and we'll put this together and um, uh, the first thing that you need is this we need a name status comma separate by friends so we're going to go ahead and put our name so result plus equals uh, the profile name then we're going to go ahead and add a space uh, with that parentheses open parentheses and we're going to add the status so the profile status okay uh, once you do that um, okay space uh, colon uh, we need to add the friends this is where the iterator comes into play so to do to use an iterator you hit while uh, the iterator um, I I was supposed to give a name to the iterator what was it we called it oh <laughs> because I didn't create the iterator so I need to create the iterator so you would type in iterator uh, of the string we'll call it the iterator equals to uh, new Oh no, we don't even need new. We just have to call the get friends. So all you have to do to to create this iterator is type in whatever the array list is that's being used that's using it, which is friend array, and then call the iterator. Okay. So <clears throat> so this actually has nothing to do with this one. This one is for when the class is being called and it's using that get friends and you do that. This is separate for using, you know, to the to string method. So that has no relation. Rather we're creating a our own iterator here and we're gonna call it here. If iterator has a next, so if it has a next value, then and it's true, then it's gonna go through this while loop. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna go result plus e and it's gonna add that friend's name. So to add that friend's name we're going to say <coughs> friend. We're going to say, uh, oh, right, because we have an iterator. We're going to say it to it dot next. And so it's going to add that element inside that friend array. And then notice how we need to have it separated by commas, but we don't want to have a comma at the end. So it's going to be another conditional statement. And we're going to say that uh, if it has a next after that, then what we're going to do is we're going to tell our result to add a comma if if there is one okay and uh, once you're done with that it's going to cycle through with that particular next if there is one and then add the next name add a comma if it's not the last one and then keep going and once it goes through all the uh, elements of that array 
if it doesn't have an X, it'll break out of the while loop, and we want to return that result. Okay. So that's how you write the uh, class for base pamphlet profile, and this is what's going to get stored in our database and uh, gets passed on to our canvas. And um, basically this time I'm going to try to save a little bit of time by already creating the test uh, profile. Let me just explain what it is. Um, it has the packages of program graphics. I extend the console program. I put my name <coughs> of the profile called Kai. <coughs> Excuse me. I set my image. I set my status. I add my friends. Now I want to see it printed out using the two strings. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. Test my profile. And there it is. So Kai, Edie, Jenny, and James as friends. Uh, the one thing I did do, did not do here, is put a space there. Might as well just do that. Not too big, just cosmetic. Um, but I just go here. Uh, oh yeah, I reversed that's why. Like that. Okay. So that's all there is to Milestone 2. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, just put it in the bottom. If you have any questions about how I implemented some of, this, some of these uh, methods and, and this construct, just uh, let me know. And uh, please, please, please watch my videos. Thank you. Bye.